at IGN, we were floored by our recent demo of Cyberpunk 2077, and we wanted to explore more of this world. So we invited Mike Pondsmith from Artel Saurian Games, author of the original tabletop RPG Cyberpunk 2020, to take myself, as well as our own Cassidy Moser and Casey DeFridis, on a pen and paper adventure through this dark future role-playing game. My name is Mike Pondsmith, and I'm the person who's going to kill your Cyberpunk character. That's okay. great. Right. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> is this going to be like a Save the Rec Center kind of storyline? Because, ah, you know, when this goes down, you're going to be responsible for the death of 3,001 people. Probably, but maybe not. But maybe not. But maybe not. But maybe uh, What the hell are you guys doing? Things got weird. A three-hour tour. Three-hour tour! Three-hour tour! Three-hour tour! They're, they're what are called poser gangs in Night City. People who have taken identities, kind of like cosplay taken to the worst extreme. And my yeah. sister loves a booster gang. Oh or even worse, a poser gang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> a and like Gilligan's a, and Island a first and Howler, too. too. Like, not even the oh, professor yeah. or the uh. skipper. But then they got real. I figure you got about 48 hours before all hell, fire, and damnation drops in on this place. Um, okay, so, beat a 12. I think um, you can do that. I don't know about that. I don't Ooh. think I can. Nope, that's a 10. Maybe a little too real. No! Yeah, I literally have a knife on me. I take it out and I press you against the wall with it against your throat. <laughs> and I, I was like... The party comes together. I was right? like... to kill each other. Yep. <laughs> if you try to use my sister as a prop one more time, I will cut your camera eyes out. Just as right? turning out to be a typical side <laughs> <problem>. Yeah. <laughs> Then they got weird again. His yachting jacket rips in half oh as plating begins to come up. My sister's dating a transformer. <laughs> and he gathers a group of Thurston's and they march away. But we came together, made a plan. Love I don't me. think I've ever seen Good. this. Good. Finally, you well, I'm glad that this is the first right oh, here. You can have literally whatever you want. I will give you my blogger friend. You can have her. <laughs> I am appalled. <laughs> Which worked, sort of. <laughs> Am I gonna inadvertently kill 3,000 of my Potentially. Fans? Okay. <laughs> Regardless, we had a great time, and our weird, wacky adventure through Night City had a surprisingly happy ending. Keep watching to see the condensed version of our two hour game, and you can see the full playthrough right here on IGN. And for much more on Cyberpunk, check out all of our impressions from E3 2018 and beyond. So, are you all ready to play some Cyberpunk? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Mike, please start murdering us. Okay. <laughs> One of the fun things about this game is that. It is more than just, yeah, I build a character and I go blow somebody or something up. It also is a game with a lot of psychology, how people do things, how they perceive things. Think about how you deal with people, you know, what is your average state? <laughs> well, you're thinking of that also. Uh -oh. <laughs> Remember, this isn't necessarily you. Yes. Yeah, oh, man, I was character. really looking forward to just having crippling social anxiety. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Uh, my character's name is Ghost. The only person in the world that she cares about is her sister. Ah, oh, I love when they do this. Yes, so you're gonna kill my sister. Cool. <laughs> What's up, everybody? No, I've got better things to do and kill your sister. No, <laughs> so. Okay, your sister is going to be an NPC that I'm going to dub Goldfish. Cool. We'll get to that later. You're gonna kill me <laughs> in real life. <laughs> my name is uh, Chet. Chet. Yeah. It's dark future, and your name is Chet. His handle is Mother in Law. It's after the toughest creature he's ever seen on this earth. A mother-in-law? She was really cool and tough. He also still has to figure out uh, a way to keep up with his partner. Uh, they were down with cyberpsychosis because they just essentially modded themselves into an almost non-human entity. One of the things that he tried to sort of bring her back from that edge uh, was getting her a cat, which he is now stuck with. A cat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good little cat. What is the cat's name? Cheddar. <laughs> oh, I love Cheddar. My name is Bologna, and in a terrible turn of events, oh. I did not uh, honor my namesake, which deeply disappointed my parents, because Bologna is, a, I think, a god of war that incites um, revolution. Fun. And instead, I decided to become a member of the media. Uh, <laughs> you're fighting for truth. Except, really, all I want is my own fame and fortune. Mm. Uh. So. I pretend to deeply care about the masses, but really I just want them to like me so I can get ahead in the world. So you're an evil blogger. But no one knows, because you're on the influencer. outside, I am an influencer, but on the outside I am very friendly and love everyone, and on the inside I am screaming, and you to everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see your skill set. 
This would be interesting. Uh oh. Yeah, credibility of five, huh? That's. Yeah, you're okay. Okay. Yeah. You've got a few hundred five, thousand followers. I'm yeah, trying, you guys. Yeah, thousand people. You're, you're not, you know, uh, Thompson or the other. I'm not there yet, but I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can do. Got yes. purple hair. Oh, boy. You've got a Patreon and you're keeping and, your head above uh, water. Exactly. And do we have anybody who's a cop in this group? No. no. Okay. No. Nope. Well, I think you have a cop now. And you have a cop named Hammerman. <laughs> Listens to old Frank Sinatra records. Very, very loud. Oh, wow. Um, a while back, somebody who used to live in the building went to him and complained it was too loud. He threw them out of the building. <laughs> like out of the building. Oh. Yeah, out of the building. <laughs> okay. We're going to be starting this in Night City. Mm -hmm. And you guys are all going to be living in one of the few, not corporate owned, pretty nice apartment buildings in Night City. We are rich. No kibble for me. We're not rich. <laughs> this is certainly a role playing game. <laughs> yeah. You lucked out. I got my After you got out of med school, <laughs> yes. you found that your parents, before they were run over by Booster Gang, no! had, had left you <laughs> property. Well, Hell yeah. Thanks, Mom and Dad. So you have an apartment building. A whole thing? Yes. And of course, you can't afford all the taxes or anything else that they throw at you no. or the upkeep, so you need to have people who live in the apartment building. You hear a chant. Oh, God. A three hour tour. A three hour tour. A three hour tour. A three hour tour. Three hour tour. Three hour tour. Three hour tour. Three hour. And then it goes, oh, no. ah, Skipper. And they go charging out looking for somebody to kill. There is a gang. They're, they're what are called poser gangs in Night City. People who have taken identities, kind of like cosplay, taken to the worst extreme. Oh, no. uh, the absolute worst of these are the bozos, which when they were invented by my wife many, many years ago, uh, the insane clown posse did not exist. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one of those things people say, you know, how much stuff in cyberpunk ever, like, really happens? I go, juggalos. Yeah. <laughs> the Gilligans are out back, and they're, they appear to be having one of their ritual chants. In addition, uh, as they start spilling out in the street, you see... Coming down the hill, a lot of motorcycles, cyber bikes, regular bikes, you name it. A maelstrom, which is a, another booster gang, oh God. rolls okay. down the street. Um, <sighs> they don't like each other. No, I think for <laughs> and giggles, I'm just going to call the police to begin with. Okay. Paranoid. Even <laughs> your sister's in the house. Oh, she's not. Ah, okay, she is in the house. So she's peering out the window, and she sees the biker gang going by. And she says very quietly, so you can just barely hear, oh, I hope he doesn't get hurt. And she covers her face. Why don't you go hang out in your room and keep the windows closed and maybe keep the lights on? I have to know. <laughs> you will, don't understand. Will, she storms will, will, out of the room. Uh, goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> don't go steps. outside. And just about that time, the front door, glass lobby door is open. Shoot. And she's standing there like that as the two warring gangs open up on each other. It's God. Luckily, no one right now is using guns. They're, they're throwing weapons. They're beating on each other. Yeah. It's a regular just Donnybrook out there. Sure. It's a good old-fashioned street fight. Yeah, it's a good old-fashioned street fight. Right. You, you kind of think they do this for exercise. So, yeah, Goldfish is like, you know, at this point freaking out. Mm. The, the melee is going on, and... You hear clanking from the apartment next to yours because you're on the top floor. And Is you that see Hammerman oh, coming no. down going, God damn, kids, get off my lawn! Oh, man, no, it's... <laughs> Okay, like, did, is he armed? Does he have anything of like big? Of course he's armed. No, armed, but like <laughs> yes, extra armed. Like Does he have a launcher or? He has a weapon which you, you have colloquially heard called a street cleaner. Oh no, uh, that does not sound good for the walls. Yeah, actually it's. Uh, I'm a very, I'm a very particular landlord. I like my place to be very fast. It is and basically tiny. what you know, normally would see would be a rapid fire Sturmeyer stakeout tan. So Okie dokie. It, it's throwing 46, but it's throwing it around 57 round. God. Okay. I just like. At a touch. So it's like. Do I hear this commotion going on? <laughs> yes. I'm There's going now to. There's a street brawl outside your apartment All right. building. I'm going to hear this and decide that it's not worth trying to fix my feed. So I'm going to say, screw it. 
put my smile on, pick up my camera gear and go outside because maybe I can use this footage for later. Okay, so you're out there reporting on... So I'm, uh, I come outside and I'm going to follow behind uh, Mr. Hammerman. Mr. Okay. Hammerman, hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> you mind if I catch your good deeds? He looks at you like you were something that you wanted to scrape off his boot. Good day to you too, sir. Did you follow him? Or? I'm, I'm following behind him. Okay. But not too so closely. Make it yeah. worse. <laughs> uh, 11. 11. Okay. Yeah, those look like really big bullets. No, 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 no. I'm going to no, put no, earplugs no. in. Okay. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to try and holler at the rest of the gang to see if I can at least convince them to disperse before the street gets turned into Swiss cheese. And about that point, he, he pulls up the chain gun, oh, no. he stomps down on a uh, sender, a, a, a button basically on the floor yeah. that he's also thrown out, and music starts blasting Where's out <laughs> from the top of his apartment. <laughs> Damn, they're shattering the window shake. <laughs> and it's, it's Frank Sinatra singing, I've got the world on a string. Right. And awesome. he opens up into the street. Oh, There's buddy. utter chaos going, and meanwhile your sister screams, "No, Mr. Hammerman!" He's like, "You know, I've got the world," <laughs> having a wonderful time. <laughs> and finally, he runs out of ammo, and says, "Damn, it felt good." <laughs> Throws it back over his shoulder and starts lugging the empty ammo crate back up the stairs. Well, you dragged your sister off. I did, yes. Okay, and she's going, "But he could be dead." I'm like goldfish. You have got to understand that these street punks are not worth your time. Nobody is worth your time. The only person in the world that's going to keep you safe is me. She looks at you and she says, he was going to keep me safe? And she goes running off to the melee, a, a body staggering around with big pockmarks damage. And I'm sitting there like, please be a guy on a bike. Please be a guy on a bike. <laughs> not one of the white hats? <laughs> No, uh, she runs up and she says, Thank God you're all right. And you see this patrician looking guy in a yachting cap. Oh. And he says, Of course, my dear, for you. Your sister gives her Gilligan, or rather her Mr. Howell, uh, a big hug. Oh, he's. Oh. Oh, no. And then <laughs> basically a big kiss and then runs back to the apartment saying, Yes, yes. Yep, yep. And, and just he like says something in, in bad French, it's like au revoir. <laughs> and my <laughs> sister loves a booster game. Or even worse, a poser game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> a and like a, and a Thurston one Howler too. too, like not even the oh, professor yeah. or the uh, skipper. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a ginger myself. <laughs> I yeah, mean, but, I'd know. take that too. Right? It'd be still better than, than Mr. Howell. Even Lovey <laughs> would be preferred. <laughs> I'm going to be his Lovey one day. <laughs> Meanwhile, you, make a wires check. 16. 16. Oh, very nice. Uh, you see two men. Mm -hmm. They are really well dressed for this neighborhood. Mm. And they are quickly taking pictures of the building from a lot of different angles. I'm gonna discreetly move my camera to them, and zoom in a little bit while still kind of looking at the rabble, so okay. maybe they don't notice me. You feel something against the back of your neck. Oh no. Uh, I slowly turn around to look at him. He's kind of in that mold of Japanese pop star, bishonen, pretty gorgeous type, mm -hmm. but his eyes are cold. And I mean cold in the sense that there are no pupils, they're just white orbs, gray. And oh, he no. very calmly lowers the flechette pistol and says, I would consider it a great favor if you would relinquish your camera. Of course, sir, my apologies. Uh, he says, thank you, Miss Bolena, we will be in touch. That's and he good. hands you a card. Um, okay. He doesn't, there's no name on it, he mm -hmm. just hands you the card. So okay. In touch. <laughs> I figure you got about 48 hours before all hell, fire, and damnation drops in on this place. 
and I thought maybe you might want to prepare. What do you know about telecommunications? Uh, I mean, it's tele, it's communications, it's... Uh, <sighs> Jesus. Can I make a tech roll and see just like where my knowledge lies? Yeah. <laughs> I went to med school, not video school. Yeah, apparently you rolled a two. Is that just gonna be, I know, right? Is that gonna be just straight up and down? Uh, tech yeah. and D10 or you Yeah, tech and D10, you don't have any cyber tech. Oh boy, that's an right? even 10 then. Okay, you have no idea. Uh, yeah, no, it's th that's a word that you just said and it came out of your mouth. A, a thing, yeah. He looks at you and says, <laughs> kid. <laughs> And you can at me. <laughs> Look, you got about, I figure, 24 to 40 hours before WNS comes through, flattens your house, my house, and puts up a telecommunications node net. Well, why do they need to flatten it? Can't we just dig it up and sell it to them? No. Oh. They want to put it in here. Oh, it's 170 feet tall. <laughs> you got to put that in the garage, kid? We could give him some backyard space. <laughs> Is this going to be like a Save the Rec Center kind of storyline? 100%. Awesome. Center. Okay, save great. Save the Health Center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did see some characters. They said something about telecommunications, and then they uh, took my camera away. Uh, yeah, so, as well they should. You film everything. Sometimes the people need to know what's happening, including shady, attractive men in suits. People want to see that. I mean, yeah, sometimes we do. Sometimes you want to see uh, little, young, attractive teenagers dating. Um, the glass nope, just. No, nope, no one wants to see no that. Wants to see that. Dating the gang shattered. members? Nope. Nope. Glass You'd in my apartment. Surprised. Glass in your apartment just How shattered. messed up those people what? are. What? Shut, shut up. Clash. Goldfish, get to your room. Uh oh. Goldfish says, What was that? You see a roundish uh, beer can like object rolled into the center of the room. Everyone get down! Um, okay, so here's where we take a look at everybody's <laughs> reflexes. <laughs> My reflex gets to act first. Okay. Even goldfish gets to go. Oh, cool. Good. Goldfish. Uh, goldfish is totally useless. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. She's there, she's there for you to like trip over. It's an escort mission. Both of you guys are going to make dex checks. Dodge. Okay. And you'll take your dex and your dodge and the roll. Uh, 13. 17. Okay, you do throw yourself acrobatically out of the room and you don't trip over her going into the room to get her sister. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so you're like, whoa, shh, right past her. Nice. Uh, you dive into the room to get your sister. Mm. Uh, you do get your sister, but she's as useless as a bump in a log. And just as the flashbang goes off in the middle of your apartment. Okay. Um, you are basically at point blank on a flashbang. Okay. I'm cool. So. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, eyeballs. <laughs> uh, you are not seeing anything for the next seven rounds. Um, make an awareness check. Seventeen. Oh, uh, you do see the guys in black. You hear behind you, uh, Hammerman thundering down. He's carrying what looks like some kind of long rifle, and he says. Stops, looks around and says, and so it began. God! What? Damn it, you said we had two days! <laughs> Even he sighs to go ape Odd he doesn't. It's Hammerman. It's odd he doesn't. I'm shocked. <laughs> and he says something like, God damn ninjas! <laughs> I hate ninjas. I hate ninjas. I will draw and fire. Okay, draw and fire! Alright. Um, yeah. Alright then. I'll fire off uh, with a pistol Let's put shot. This one to one side. Ninjas. <laughs> what you're using for that is you're shooting, so you're using reflex. So that's the 10, which is nice. I roll a second one. You roll a second roll and add nice. that. First three rolls. Whatever, I'll take it. That's 13, 17, uh, 21. 21, okay. Yes, you hit with prejudice. Roll 3d6, let's see what you do. Nice. Ooh, 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 I'll take that. That's a 16. Okay, yes, you go tearing through. Uh, let's find out where you hurt him. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so one of his legs goes out from underneath him. Blam. And yeah, it's your turn. Okay. And I'm gonna... Not the time to do that. <laughs> While you need reinforcements, this will not help. I look around, Hammerman, and I guess I'm going to try and shoot the guys who are shooting at us because I am assuming their intention is to kill us. Probably. Uh, huh. 
not not too great. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. I don't think you'll get near to him. He laughs at you. He scoffs. No, he doesn't do either. I'm used to shooting a camera, not a gun, guys. Oh, uh, actually, Tamerman's turn. He's gonna finally use that thing he just brought out. Great. Okay. Okay. So, uh, basically, he opens up. There is a blinding flash uh, as all the lights come together, and you see part of the wall burst into flames. No. And is now flickering oh, with great. fire. Okay. And one of the guys, uh, yeah, it was. My deductible is okay, not going to cover that. He's now on fire. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take that at least. He's like, ah! Beating himself <laughs> off. Okay, or beating the fire. Rather. There you go. That's, that's <laughs> nope, it's not, it's not I thought it wasn't time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he's a media. I have cameras installed into my eyes. So I'm going to make sure that's rolling. I'm going to get this poor teenage girl being helped by her sister, blind and deaf on the, on the floor, and look at the bad guys be like, these are our enemies. Look what the corporations are doing. I'm going to try and shoot them. <laughs> Good. That's you a know, I've often thought some interviews would probably be better that way. I rolled a 13. Okay, then hang on a second. Mm -hmm. You fire near him. Let's see if he flinches. Ah, he does flinch because he's on fire and he's beating it out. The other guy, however, is not going to flinch. Instead, he's going to be aiming at you. Oh, no. you like the biggest problem right now. Me? Okay, beat a 15. You're getting out of the way, dodging, okay? Oh. Wait, no, that's 10. That's yeah. a 10. That's 10. 10. You dodge out of the way. You almost pirouette <laughs> with your breath. <laughs> wow! Well, it's right beautiful. Well, he stops for a moment. I flip my hair. He, he wipes a palm. <laughs> that's the most bayonet of Sweet. things you could possibly do. Swiftly she moves. Her oh. hair flips. And we're down to Hammerman. Hammer would just microwave the first guy <laughs> to see if he does anything. <laughs> no, he actually. Oh, wow, Hammerman, that's not good. Oh, Hammerman's boy. gun is about to have a critical fail. Let's oh, just no. find out how bad it is. Please don't explode. Yeah, that's the problem, Mike. Please be a oh. one, please be a one, uh, please be a one. <laughs> he's going to block you partially. You're on the floor, so it doesn't matter with you. At the very worst, you might get some hair sizzle. Let's okay. go find Sorry, out. Sorry, your healer's about to get toasted. No. Roll a dodge. Beat a 12. I think oh. you can do that. I don't know about that. I don't Ooh. think I can. Nope, that's a 10. Is Hammerman fine? Uh, actually, I did not. Oh, he's not fine. Okay. Oh, no. Right. You have two <laughs> rounds until you're no longer blind. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can just start randomly shooting. Maybe we hit your sister. Can <laughs> You can see shapes, maybe? <laughs> that was, that was, I felt like you were very excited to suggest that. Um, it's the kind of guy. <laughs> Nine to hit. Ten? Mm. Oh, okay, yep, you missed him by one. He goes right by like Oh, wait, no, I did get a ten. You got a ten? My math is bad, yeah. I got a ten. Total Great 10? job. A total ten. People who play video games for a living. Okay. Bad math. <laughs> oh, no, just, we're fighting I the power. I would never saddle you with a sister who is totally useless. <laughs> But you just handed that to me. I did, I did, on a platter. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell are you guys doing? Like, I could just hear, like, all these all this stuff going down. Okay, so roll 4d6. Let's go find the where Okay, you just hit him in the head. Oh, no, so that roll is your dead. 4d6. 10. Great, so it's just 20, which means his head just went boom. Uh, I make sure to record that headshot. It's a shame that you can't turn your eyes around and be like, Maybe I have one my Okay. Hand. Do you just have cameras everywhere? Are you like that everywhere. guy in Pan's Labyrinth? Uh, yes. Actually, uh, that's how I would like to be. Okay. Except okay. prettier. Cool. I'm just like, I don't even care about you guys. I was like, I need to get my sister somewhere safe. If we can't live here anymore, then I'm leaving. No, she's the innocent that needs to star in this film against the man. Wait, I literally, I literally have a knife on me. I take it out and I press you against the wall with it against your throat. And I, I was like, party comes together. I was like, right? to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to use my sister as a prop one more time, I will cut your camera eyes out. <laughs> oh, Australian ninjas. <laughs> No, because you never the know. Kind. They really are the worst kind. <laughs> they are. They are indeed. Okay. Uh, yes. What's going on? Your sister screams. What do you do? Oh, I'm running after her, obviously. 
That's a good sound. You go running in. You remember the flashbang? Yeah. Oh, no. This is worse. This is my equipment. Uh, do you have any cyberware? Do oh, she or do I? Yeah. Uh, I have cyber optics. Cyber optics. For no. Cyber optics are a little light again. Your big nuts pop. Yeah. <laughs> and your eyes go. Awesome. And go totally crazy. Awesome. Um, you were going in the room with her, or oh, no. were you outside? Okay, you're outside. outside. I think we're all outside. Okay, yeah. you are. Once again, why? Now you have static. Every time. I know. Super fail. Oh. Your sister's gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, you blew it. Uh, okay, I take. I'm still holding the knife in my hand, and I walk toward where I think they are. Okay. And I'm waving it, and I'm like, "You are going to give them whatever they want. They can have we, this." Oh, where we are? And these these okay. guys, yeah. I was like, "You're going to give them whatever they want. They are. I'm getting my sister back, and I don't care about this building." Or mm. we could rescue her. You're I mean, giving them whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna give up my building on this one. No. I will kill Cheddar. <laughs> I will kill your dog. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> Whoa! Exactly! And now the hate comes How out. How dare you! <laughs> She's just right. coming out to be a typical side <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do I know any any rocker boys or rocker girls who I have previously covered and might, might owe me a favor to uh, hmm. incite their fans to help protect my building? Okay, let me get a roll on you using your credibility. 16. Okay, 16. Hmm. Yeah, you can probably find a few people who can ravel up a crowd. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I film a video uh, and add in some, so of me talking to the camera with some clips of that poor girl and of me getting that awesome headshot and of me Good saying, job. this is what's happening. Our building is going to be taken under and we need your help to help save our building and save the people who live here and yep. make this a good place to be. So if they can blockade the building, we can go save your sister. Yes. That's, man, I think let's... that might Ghost be Ghost is the like the Fight most the man. reluctant she's ever been. <laughs> so can we reasonably assume that a fairly sizable crowd of folks who would be putting up their own wills to defend our home will show up within a few minutes? I mean, why not? Have an excuse to fight the power. No, 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 not again. Are these guys yours? You see Gilligan's, and it's not the normal mob you normally see. Oh, no. It's hundreds of Gilligan's. Oh, God. Wonderful. And they're beginning to mass around the building. Where is Thurston? Says, which one? And there's like nine raise their hands. Where's the one that's dating my sister? Thurston Hall, the 33rd? Sure. Hey, Thurston! 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 <laughs> and they're yelling. By now you've got about a thousand Gilligans. Okay. And Thurston, the yes. 33rd, shows up and he says, Yes, where's my lobby? Okay, I'm sorry to pull you away from brunch. My sister has been taken. I need your help in getting Good her back. Good God! When did this happen? Literally minutes ago. I pull out the card that was given to me earlier and mm -hmm. say, These are the people who did it and show everyone that Great three Scott. certain symbol. It's out of Sokka. Them. To the hounds, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow Thurston the 33rd here. Is he like riding off on anything? Is uh, he... Yes, Thurston actually turns and he hunkers down a minute, takes a deep breath and his yachting jacket rips in half. Mm -hmm. As basically plating begins to come up. My sister's dating a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> to some extent, yes. She's, she's dating a full body boar. Oh my god. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. Like, maybe. Remember, she said he could protect her? Yeah. Yes, he can. Okay, well, okay. And he turns once again with flashing eyes and the cigarette holder still uh, inexplicably in his mouth and says, Of course. Yes, chaps, now let's just go to Arasaka and give them what for. I'm, I'm... And he gathers a group of Thurston's and they march away. <laughs> About this point, uh, Hammerman comes down. Oh, okay. He is dressed in what would be considered to be metal gear or heavy armor. Metal gear. <laughs> uh, he is carrying a couple rather large weapons and he says, I'm getting too old for this sort of thing, but they're not going to take my home, God. Damn it. 
Okay. So you, you want to stay here and lead the Gilligans? No, we're going to kick open their doors and blow them to hell. All right, well, it sounds like Hammerman's coming with us. It'll be a fun night for the old man. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> um, Are you being sarcastic to me, son? No, I legitimately mean that. I never see you go out, and I'm really concerned for your social well-being. <laughs> You have some kind of AV tag. What, an AV? Hmm? Why don't you say so? Oh, n not that kind, but if you have access to one of those, that'd be great. Yeah. Follow me. He thumps his way down to the garage level. Oh, God. Okay. And he starts moving a bunch of tarps. What? And you see that he has a AV9, a police AV. What? This is stolen, right? You stole this. I retired. Yeah. It was it a retirement present? Is this what the watch is these days? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Um, does it work? Beep beep. <laughs> Walks over. <laughs> you hear the fans start blowing dust and garbage and an occasional cat out of the way. Oh. God, no, Cheddar! <laughs> <laughs> the AV lurches into the air. Uh, think of it as a large minivan, which is kind nice. of the best way somebody could wrap their brain around an AV. Okay. An AV is basically proof of concept that if you put a big enough jet engine on something, it will fly. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. While we're taking off, I'm going to send an email to all of my rock boy and rock and girl friends mm -hmm. and tell them that if they put on a show at my apartment building to incite a riot with all of their followers, the next time they are doing a concert for a cause of their choice, I will cover them. I will give them the best coverage. <laughs> and I know that she my follower account is going to get... provided? Of course. You're on. Okay, yes. concert is on the way. <laughs> Great, love it. <laughs> it's gonna be a sweet show. They're gonna, they brought to bring the laser cannons, though. Not like this laser is like, cannons. This is like, like some Mad shows. Max sh Or it's just like death and music. <laughs> yeah, it's I love yes. it. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, would you expect to play the guitar? Was wrong. No, I didn't. I'm okay. just like I'm. I'm incredulous. <laughs> We've created here. You're in the air about ten minutes, having picked you up, mm. and you're doing a search pattern, sort of circling. And cops are useful. Basically, right? Hammerman says, "All right, so I've got some Maelstrom boys who said they saw a car that sort of fits the idea of what they probably had. It's down the edge of the zone." Okay. Radio that combat that's zone. Bad. That's very bad. That's bad. That's very bad. I don't know if I want to go there. Nobody ever. Oh wants no, to you're on the you're zone. on the you're in the boat but now. You're in the boat. I'm in the boat. You're coming. All right, We're guys. We're going for a three-hour tour. <laughs> I uh, relay the recap to my broadcast. Okay. <laughs> We're now going. Good. Okay, let's hear let's hear your breathless. All your right. breathless. Uh... <laughs> so earlier today, some evil corporations came to my apartment building and are going to bulldoze it. But before they did so, they deafened and blind a poor teenage girl who is dating a member of the Gilligans who are now on their way to destroy their building. Meanwhile, we are in this AV on our way to rescue the Pearl's poor teenage girl. By the way, I got a wonderful headshot and saved everyone. Let's do this. Not clickbait. Okay. That entire thing was null because he didn't start with, what's up, guys? You forgot to end with like and subscribe, so yeah. no one's going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by yeah, well, the way, just... head to my apartment building to be part of the riot and concert of the century to save this teenage girl and our apartment building that we live in. I could have just moved. Click if you like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I feel like we we drop you off around the block. Yeah. AV just kind of hovers in case goes sure. sour. Sure, yeah. Does that sound good? You want to try and negotiate first? Yeah. Okay. I do. I will not come <laughs> with you, but wow. good luck with okay. that. Oh, you won't come with me? I don't think me. I've ever seen that. Finally, you well, do me Well, I'm glad that this is the first right oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get out and I just like walk up. I'm just like, hands up. Tell I'm them like, they can buy the building. Yeah, I'm like, we will give you whatever you want. I just want my sister back. You walk up and you see Mr. Handsome. Mm -hmm. And he sits there and he says, Bob looks up and he says, You've come for your sister, haven't you? I have. You can have literally whatever you want. I will give you my blogger friend. You can have her. <laughs> I am appalled. <laughs> okay. And I'm says, loving this because you can't offended. do anything. <laughs> okay. By my the way, fans are your fans, or your fans are now gathered around. The building. Wonderful. Hell no, we won't go, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> good, good, good. good. Yeah, so yeah. we now have about, let me throw four big dice and see where we are. 
Oh, wow, you have about 3,000 people nice. gathered you around your Great building. Job. They're blocking traffic. The Gilligans, meanwhile, are having a pitched battle downtown, so the cops can't get up to deal with the traffic jam. And they're gathering Great. around your building. Great. He says, very well. And he leans in, whistles, and two guys who also look like they should be part of a pop group mm -hmm. walk Great. out with your sister. Okay. It's a little woozy, and mm -hmm. she runs your arms mm -hmm. and says, I didn't think I'd ever escape. Uh, you came for me. Of course I came for you. Like, let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay. And as you're walking down with your sister, you, you don't hear any guns. Mm -hmm. You don't hear anybody saying, kill them now. Mm -hmm. He simply says, you do realize, of course, that your sister was a distraction. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're really, I was like, wait, what? I would not personally go back to your building. Okay. <laughs> Am I going to inadvertently kill 3,000 of my fans? Potentially. I have, look, I, I don't give a damn about the Gilligans. I don't the give a damn. The damnation will probably take out most of the block. <laughs> I don't care if any of your followers die. You want to come back and get your stuff cool, great. I don't really care about the Gilligans. I don't even care about I'm my going stuff. back to save Cheddar. I have my sister. That's all I care about. I'm going about. back for my cat. I'm going back for my cat, <laughs> This is it. what I mean by cyberpunk is personal. Yeah. It really oh, yeah. is. Oh, I yeah. want to save that my cat. My sister, my cat. 3,000 people. <laughs> yeah, fine. Whatever. They're not people. They're fans. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hammerin, you know anybody who got, um, that's not a good sound, I don't think. No. That That's your AV. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, cool. I thought it was somebody hitting it with an RPG. Um, all right. Hammerman, what can, do you have any intel on like what kind of bombs they might be using if they're going to blow down the house? It's going to have to be fairly small, but it will have to be sub new. Yeah, okay. there's three or four. All right. Maybe somebody's got some basic tech. I can work a little bit with it, but I didn't do bomb squad. Okay. I mean, I'm, I can, you know, do tech stuff okay, sort of. Um, you know, I assume bombs are a lot like organs. Cyber organs. Yeah, that's he what they stops. say. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at you with this look of I'm kidding, I know how to use computers. <laughs> and he Spine. says, your father must be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, he's rolling in his grave. Um, Pat your no, shoulder. So like, so like of, the, of the three or four types that it could be, like how long do you think we'd have to get back? Okay, uh, I will give you this. You can get back in the 10 minutes and not find the bomb has blown up. Okay. Or is immediately about to blow up. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I rolled an amount and I subtracted 10 minutes from it. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you want to land Drop on the me roof? off on the roof, please. Okay. I'm literally just going to run inside, grab the cat, run back upstairs. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll run, hit my apartment, the cat in the vest, down to the basement to see if I can disarm the bomb. Okay. You get down the furnace. Yes, there's a bomb. Of course there is. Uh, it's about the size of a uh, one of those cooler hampers. Okay. Uh, is there any kind of black black thing with handles on it? Great. What is there any kind of like timer or literal ticking clock? Um it has a flat black surface. Uh it has a small screen on it which appears to be counting down and let's see to the ten minutes get there. You have five minutes for how to do this. So I'd like to like use the limited technical know-how between my cyber tech training, uh, my med tech training, my regular tech training, to figure out whether or not I even have a chance of disarming this thing. Okay then. Hmm. Well, uh, I need to give it a shot. Are you guys gonna run through a high temper or what? I'm just sitting in this for like, per, like. In my head, I'm like, they have like five minutes, and then they, I am. They do have five. We literally have five minutes. We literally have five minutes. I'm on the roof. I roll. Yeah. I subtract. You, you had 21 minutes. I roll, pick out your 10 minutes. Nice. You know, okay. have 11, then three minutes if to I... get down and get his cat. Okay. His cat hid under the sofa for a while. <laughs> I'm at Cheddar. Um, I holler up on the radio like, if you don't see me within Cheddar. literally four minutes, take off. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. All right. Um, what's it gonna be? Okay, uh, I will let you have Cybertech Repair minus one. Nice, all right. Come on, let's do oh. it. Oh, nice! Yes, Critical! <laughs> Double crit! Oh, oh. <laughs> Perfect, so I, mean, I don't even need to roll anything else like that. <laughs> yeah, dude! Thank you! Oh my so, god, thank you! Wait, does that mean I get to roll dun, a third dun, dice? Dun, 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 dun. Click. <laughs> Bomb stops. 
through Perfect. my Amp Cyber Great. Audio, I'm going to relay this information to 3,000 people below us and tell them that Aerosocra Security tried to murder all of them, but Mill, the wonderful landlord of this building, right. saved you all. More importantly, congratulations. Let's We're not dead. Let's substantiate that, says Police Officer Ammerman. Retired. <laughs> but also, I think we've earned ourselves Mr. a party. Ammerman. You've earned yourselves a party. Right? Get out the smash, let's go. Let's do it. And then I, Okay. That's definitely like a big party with all your fans, right? Yeah. And then it's a huge block party. I was gonna be responsible for the death of 3,001 people. Ghost is What's just like, Jeff? Ghost is just so happy she does not have to say thank you to her. Big question, <laughs> <though>. In <laughs> any way. How do y'all spend your party? Oh, I uh, leave. I just, <laughs> I, tell, I tell Goldfish, I'm like, get your stuff, we're leaving. We're just moving like, out? Wait, yeah, wait. oh yeah, we're gone. Is there a chance we're gonna see Hammerman rocking out? Upstairs, like no one else is seeing him, but he's just like doing a little yeah, blunt. Yeah, he's doing it. I am just, yeah. I am deeply Good. into how this ended, like a '90s action film. Right, <laughs> like it's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. We okay. literally saved the rec set. Like this is Vanilla Ice singing us off. Oh yeah, <laughs> it makes this me is so the crane shot as it pans no, away no, from no, the no, crowd no. of fire trucks. <laughs> it's literally the end of Lethal Weapon One. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah, thank you so much. Anytime you want to come back, you're more than welcome. Take a picture uh, of if any of you want to try this for yourself, uh, the book is Cyberpunk 2020. It's super great, and yeah, Cyberpunk boy. Red is coming out in the future. You can get it now. Ask your parents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ask your parents' permission. You will definitely need it. And then it. if they want to play. Yeah, mostly if they want to play, because <laughs> the family that rolls together stays together. Damn straight.